Speak, nerd out. Welcome to another episode of Nerd Out! Out. Hi, I'm Randy, this is Brian. Uh, this is a double big episode. We're gonna start with, uh, it's sort of like a part two of, uh, of uh, last, last week's episode is we had announced that you uh, you were getting a book in the mail and it's it's a yeah. big, it's a big daddy. It's a big boy one. Yeah, we, it's a big boy. One. You, we, we're starting with that. Yeah, we're starting with that because I mean I, I think I think we shouldn't hold the Fine. Uh, the anticipation's yeah. probably killing thirty people. Yeah, right? man. What do you think? That's a cool book, but that's a cool oh, book. Oh, you don't but, like that? No, I do like it, but that can't be. All the, right, well, let's try that. How's that? that better now we're yeah. talking wow yeah so i'm gonna look at it and then i'll show wow i like your bags and boards not bad i was telling yeah. you about them they're super stiffy so but those are double boarded so you got a uh, hulk 181 i did this is the first appearance of wolverine uh some Bold people appearance. well some people would count 180 it is his first appearance that's the most underrated book there is I think. I don't know what the the caption is. Isn't it more an advertisement at the end no. of 180? He's in the last caption. He's in the last oh, picture. Oh, really? He's like, now you have to do a Weapon X. Oh, shit. That's legit, then. Oh, it's legit. It's oh, first man. appearance. Do so you have to get that? Yeah, yeah. But, but it's so underrated. But this this is the most striking cover. Uh, yeah, it's his first it's full this, appearance. This is, this is it. Yeah. I was uh, I, I was checking this site, like the Hot 100, and this is the number one hot book right now. Of the Bronze Age, man. It's yeah. beautiful. Congrats. Thank uh, you. Thank it, you. It sucks because it's also Wendigo's first appearance. And Wendigo's a cool bad guy, but... No, Wendigo's 180. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, 180. okay, okay. But that's a cheese dick character. Like, like the, 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 this one is more about Wendigo than it is about Wolverine. Like, yeah. When you read it, he's not... Like, it's not the best read. I don't even know if it's a good read. I read it just recently Me on too. a reissue. And yeah. uh, I ordered... um. They just came out with a Marvel Legends Hulk vs. First Parents Wolverine set. And, yeah. Uh, oh, I want that sort of. Yeah, I ordered. I the found 80th a guy. Anniversary. I, yeah, exactly. I found a guy who was selling them loose, so I just yeah. bought the Wolverine. Even though I do love the Hulk, and the mm. new Immortals Hulk is an awesome mm. read. If any of you guys still read comic books, um, Immortals Hulk is great. But I, I'm just a Wolverine guy, and I just didn't want to drop sixty bucks. This is kind of amazing. Like this is probably. Between this and a Conan one are probably my two grails. Yeah. Uh, that you should be you should be excited. I, I'm very excited. But, you know, and I mean it's it's one of those things. You know, with like with Marvel, what they're doing. Yeah. He's gonna be in an end credit scene in the next year or so. Yeah, I think like, so. I think by the end of 2020, 2021. Yeah. Is that your? Uh, oh, that's portable? my Lycra not. Oh yeah, that's my portable like carrier. Like so you can like. That's kind of cool. Well, you guys are gonna see a lot of this. I man. think it should be a little more high end though. You think so? Yeah, I do. I think it should be like. Mm -hmm. I think it should. I mean, I'm sure they make them. I mean, it yeah. should be like it should be like a laptop case or something. Um, sure they have them, but for ten bucks. Oh, for ten bucks, that's a Maybe steal. Maybe twelve bucks. Yeah, yeah, but at in least, that ballpark. But I think these are like for when you're at the comic book store and you're buying new books to get them home. I think that's sort of like what you're. Oh yeah, so, so you don't ban your bucks. bucks you, up. Yeah, yeah, you're not messing but, around. But uh, yeah, man. What's amazing is after you got that. You sent me a couple texts. We went back and forth. And 20 minutes later, I'm not exaggerating, you're like, so should I get a giant size X-Men 1 or an X-Men 94? And which one should I get? I was actually doing homework. Mm. That, that shows you, you are sick. But, I'm uh, sick. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I, I am beyond sick. I'm proud of your sickness, though, because uh, even though, like, my sickness is toys and, you know. Sick is sick. Sick is sick. Sick and, is sick. And, and, and when I say sick, I almost say it as a good thing because I think we're not, like, snorting comic books and toys. Uh, we're just compul compulsively uh, enjoying them and sharing them with you. So hopefully you enjoy it. Yeah. And uh, the good thing about something like comics and toys... They go hand in hand. They do bit. go hand in hand. But in, d in addition, like, if something were, were to happen, yeah, you could flip that book and make a money off of it. Or at least get your money out of it. So yeah. it's actually a smart investment. I think it is, too. It's like a lot of people drink their money. Yes, and they they, they sniff their money. They they go to a titty bar. They gamble it. Whatever. They gamble. Well, everyone's got their. their Everybody addictions. has a voice. Yeah. But toys and in comics, you can get your money out. Yeah. Like return. Like like it's the best investment, even if you get eighty percent back. Yeah, I mean you got to enjoy it and you. Like that's still. a good investment. Like that's like like. Do you think... get get vacation money back? Go try. Get your car money back. Get like. Can't yeah, it. you can't. Once you once you buy a new car, like mm. I'm actually in the market for a new car. The mm. minute I drive that thing off the thing, I've mm. lost ten grand on it, and that sucks. Uh, I actually wonder, and this is just a bold statement, maybe, but 
Is it is it a safer investment to buy vintage comic books than the stock market? Is it? It's probably. Is it safer? It depends on what it you're getting. It depends how much, how yeah. well you know your if you're, shit. If you're investing in Walking Dead number one ninety two, one ninety three, whatever it is, it's it's probably that's probably a here and now situation. That's like yeah. super. You remember the death of Superman? Yeah, yeah. That, that was that was a crazy. Like, uh, I don't understand that market. I mean, I do, but it's not long term. That's like for guys that want to get make a quick buck, right? Do it, but like that book is never gonna be, like. Deadpool first appearance, sure, but or like that first, uh, the the first Jane Foster Thor, that one's like excited. Mm -hmm. I, it's never gonna make it. I I equate. I, like, I don't know if I agree with that specific book, but I equate it with uh, my love for buying new toys. Yeah, I don't buy them for investment. Uh, I, I like I'll pay like mm -hmm. I put uh, we'll get to this I paid premium for these because I just I really need a new fix and I need something new that I've never had a chance to see before I've never had a chance to experience before so maybe that's like that with comic books I don't really understand like I mean comic books and toys are different like they're all yeah. fantastical but like with a toy it's a need to touch it with a comic book is it the need to read it or is it the need what, what is you know uh, or is I it the need to own it own it and to have it in between other books like like it's cool to have key issues but what's cooler than that is having it surrounding that key issue with the books that came out right before mm -hmm. and right after so you can see it in context it wasn't born uh, a key issue you, you so like you, runs i like runs but i mean i love keys don't get but to see just like flip through just a box and and like oh hulk Oh, you're at one seventy five. Are you one seventy six? One seventy seven. Well, and then yeah. you wonder, is it gonna be there? Is it gonna be there? Is it gonna be there? And it's there. And it's like that feeling is just like it's it's a it's a there's it's a, a thing. There's a pride to it. There's a thing about it. Yeah. I can't explain it. And I love the art. You yeah, me too. For the most part, I consider it art collection. Cause like I don't care what it's worth. Would you would you I mean, venture into um would you venture into uh like original sketches pages, maybe sort not. Sort of, but that's so much money. Yeah, that is. So I mean, much. it's like I like the book. I like that medium of storytelling, and I like the art. I like the history. The history. Yeah, I think there's a lot of history. I mean, I guess if you bought the sketch art, yeah. that's the biggest history you can get, but. It like doesn't fit in my box, so I don't know if I count it. Yeah, for me that, that like that, that one eighty one, and like I really want a Conan one. Mm -hmm. Is the history of it? Like I can't believe. Well, don't hurt Damn yourself. Spaghetti. Those monsters, man. I'll tell you, mm. uh, those those will get you. Uh, I think it is. There's something about the whole uh, the, the 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 history that 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 came from a newsstand, probably because it was sixty, yeah. and and it was read, and then it was saved, and then that is the very first time this character appeared himself in this world. Yeah, and, and yeah, you know, I'm I'm being dramatic, but no, we're, we're but dramatic we, nerds, you know. That's what we're about. Well, everything that we thrive in kills paper, sunlight, yeah, oxygen, yeah, yeah, heat. That's why I'm scared. Humidity, to yeah, it that's kills scary. them. Right. So to find a book that survived that long, mm -hmm. it's yeah. happenstance. I mean, it, plus like, they were marketed towards children, and uh, children didn't bag and board those. Yeah, they were disposable. Uh, they were disposable. They they, they disposable. put them underneath their their beds. Uh, parents were pretty Shoe uptight boxes. about it. Right, right, yeah. right. So, I mean, that is fans. Parents would throw them out. You have enough of that. Let's get rid of them. Can I get crazy? Can, all right, this is going to get, like, if, if you've never watched this show before, I, I, I mean, look, we're nutbags. And that's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, without a question, uh, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, is is my, my idol. Uh, the original Kenner figure uh, I love it that only Luke Jedi Knight is your idol. Like the other um, ones, don't they count. are. But That's it was, awesome. it was, it was. There, there's the moment I saw. That's like Luke. Be, That's like Will Ferrell being into the baby Jesus. Like he doesn't care about how he grew up. I don't understand the reference. You've never seen Talladega. Yeah, Nights. I do. I just don't. I couldn't quote it. All right, yeah. all right. So the moment. I love, I love Luke, but mm -hmm. the moment of Return of the Jedi when he comes in there and he has his hood on and he takes down that hood. And you know that, oh shit, Luke is a Jedi now. Like, it was a moment for me. And again, I was the right age. Yeah. Um, it just struck me. It was like this, it's, it's, it was his journey from boy, farm boy, to Jedi. And when he took that hood off and he, you know, he said what he said, it was, it was very, it was very, uh, it, it had quite an influence on me as a child. It was, it was very impactful. In addition to that, I remember uh, going to Kmart and seeing the the 
Kenner vintage figure on the pegs. Mm -hmm. And it was the most striking figure I've ever seen of Luke. He had this brown cloak. Uh, actually, here it is. Did you see the figure first or the movie first? I think I saw the figure, I'll be honest with all you. Right. And, and it blew my mind. Like I was like, first of all, he came with a blue lightsaber at first, uh, but then they repackaged it with a green one. I think I saw the when? green Oh, yeah, there's they a variant. Did do yeah, that? there's a variant of a blue lightsaber. I have it, and it actually broke. I thought, wasn't that more common? Blue? No, it's rare. It's rare. It was, it was a running change immediately. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. But I think I remember seeing the green one, and so, like, that my first sign of Return of the Jedi was he had a green lightsaber. What is that? So that was a question. Mm -hmm. This long cloak and the black robes. I mean, there's nothing cooler than the black robes. This figure uh, was became an obsession of mine. To this date, it probably, as far as most, um, I guess, more most inspiring, more most uh, most influential figure, this is probably it. Through the years, uh, since the 1990s, um, you know, when they reannounced the Power of the Force 2 line with the new Star Wars figures, that was super exciting. I thought that I was going to get a chance to get an updated new Luke and uh, the perfect Luke. Like, this was a great figure, but, like, this is a decade later. And then they came out with this one, and I'm going to be honest with you, I really liked it. Yeah. But I had a lot of problems with it. Uh, the 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 fact that they made the cloak black pissed me off. I didn't understand the black cloak. And then the face was the face of the uh, from from epi like, yeah the for the for the yeah because four. Mark Hamill got in a car accident yeah. and they had to do some reconstruction s surgery and he was a different face. But this black cloak pissed me off. Uh, I did like the plastic though. What series was this? This was like the third yeah, series. Yeah, I was gonna think God it wasn't series it, dude, one. Dude, yeah, when they you were imagine them. Oh, yeah, I mean this sweet. this one is still pretty buffed when you consider yeah. like Luke is a, a small guy, but uh I actually preferred the black. The not the black. I hated the black. I got upset about the black, uh, but I liked the plastic. I remember staring at pictures of this on Dave's uh fifty six K modem on his computer. Nice. And uh, actually I still have a printout that we did. We, we printed a, out the original picture. So it was like an obsession. That probably took a minute to download the picture. Dude, it, to, it had to Do you remember 45 that? minutes. Holy shit, I remember I would spend an evening downloading a movie trailer. Oh a my movie God. trailer. And like, my mom would take a phone and go, fuck it up on a flip. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that that mm -hmm. kind of blows our whole uh, trying to cut down on the swearing. But it's going to happen. It's uh, going to happen. Uh, yeah. So throughout the years, we've had new Star Wars figures. They've come out with good ones. I actually really liked this one. This one wasn't bad. Uh, I don't know. I think this was the Saga one. But again, like the cloak was black. It was a black, purpley brown. Mm. And I remember, again, like as, as a... As a nut, I would analyze that cloak, and I would be like, is that brown? Is it black? And I would try to talk myself into... It's thick. What is it? Is it black or brown? It looks like brown on the outside and black on the inside? I, I don't it's know. It's really I weird, though, right? I can't tell. And uh, it bothered me because it was not perfection. And at that time, they were making really good figures. Um, mm. And then we keep going down the line, and uh, uh, they made... They just came out with this... Uh, this was the... Final Jedi duel that they rescan the face. I think it's great. The thing is, is I got to be honest with you. I'm a fan of the the robes. Like gotcha, that's yeah. that's that's my that's my thing. Anyways, so San Diego Comic Con announced this three pack. I love all three of these figures. Uh, Hasbro's been doing a great job with Star Wars figures. The scans. I was really excited. This is the moment. Is this going to be the perfect figure? I looked at pictures. I I talked about it forever, and I. I'm not going to lie, I ordered one on eBay for a lot of money because I was freaking out. It and happens. then uh, I want to thank Gavin. He also sending me one. It hasn't showed up yet, but I know it's going to be here. I freaked out. I couldn't help it. I was like, I'm, I'm not, uh, yeah. And I got it. And I got to be honest, we will talk about the other two Lukes because they're worth talking about. But the main priority is this Luke Jedi. And I'm not going to lie, it is exactly what I want. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. It is I mean, I, I might have... I a, see one thing, though. Yeah, yeah. So, they... I do prefer, generally... I prefer plastic... Wait yeah, a lightsaber. Why yeah. does he have Obi-Wan's Yeah, that's a big... That's a big thing we'll talk about. <gasps> you watched that review. You watched that review. You what went, review? There was a review on the figure, and they pointed out that that's Obi-Wan's lightsaber. No, I, I, I swear to God, I just really? picked that up. I didn't no, even that's, notice. That's glaring. It doesn't yeah, bother me, really? Black. Yeah. So, what's the difference on Obi-Wan's lightsaber? I think it just scaled just the black... Like, because his is just the blackness. Mm -hmm. I can live with it. Yeah, I watched a review, I'll be honest, and they pointed out that mm. it, that the lightsaber is not accurate. Like, it's Obi-Wan's, yeah. but uh, I don't yeah, care. That's way different. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, they nailed it. Uh, first of all, 
I think I'm a bigger fan of plastic because I don't think that they usually get cloth capes right. Like, it just doesn't lay properly on a 3 3 fourth inch figure. This one seems right. Seems good, man. Yeah. I Wait, love... Is that cloth there? Yeah, that's cloth. Yeah, there. that that's not my favorite thing, but it does add articulation, so therefore, I'm I'm totally open to it. Um, they, they sculpted... Or they sculpted... They sewed the cloak so it actually folds over and actually wraps around his head nicely. I think that's a, that's a huge win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They I'm made... taking it in, man. Oh, yeah, take it in. It. Then I'm going to talk, talk about talk, it while you take it in. Yeah. Hold on one second. I'm paranoid. Yeah, the cloak is, like, perfect. How did they get that? Like, That cloak is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like... The only... I'm going to have a couple tidbits, a, t a couple nits, but there, there really are nitpicks, okay? Uh, I love the fact the cloak is brown again. I think they got the material pretty good. They sewed it great. Uh, my my criticism is I think maybe it could have been a quarter inch longer, but I don't remember. Like, do you think? I think that's about right. That's about right. Because well, you don't want to hit in the ground, or do I, you? I, or? I don't know if I do or not. I think the gun should be black. I, I love no, that they painted no, it. No, no, no. He's got gray gun, didn't he? I don't know. It looks well, black in the movie. It's a vintage thought. toy. He had the gray. Yeah. Uh, that is my favorite Star Wars gun in the Star Wars universe. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I think it was Maybe because Luke had it. There, it could be, but like, also it it was really, really, uh, it was really dynamic. It was very different than all the other ones, right? Like the like a stormtrooper blaster. They I all had the same so. aesthetic, and this one had like you know what? It the, looks like Jango's blaster. Yeah, I could see that. Which came much later, but I could see that. Mm. You know what it looked like is I think all the original Star Wars blasters look like they're sort of cobbled together real guns, which they are. Yeah. And that one looks like they actually made up their own gun. Yeah. And it was very distinctive, but uh, I love it. Um, I love the fact that they. There's a lot that they did. Uh, a lot of it is based on this figure. Which, uh, we did an episode on this figure, and I really went to town on how much I hated this figure. And we have never gotten more, uh, hateful comments than that episode. Why? Is this beloved? Um, Let me see I was I really know. hard on it. I was really hard on it, but I was hard on it because of my passion for Luke. Well, that face sucked. That face sucked. That face is not good at all. He had all. that cloak, which was ridiculous, which I don't have to show you, but it was like... Long and big and bulky. He had sleeves. It it was also from the deleted scene, so yeah. I do want to point that out. But I hated looking. it. He's real pouty looking. You know? Well, he was a pouty looking dude, man. Um, I love the tones. Like here, can I? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to. Like no, I'm gonna take, take off the clothes. I'm yeah. so like I honestly I cannot explain. Like every once in a while, a toy comes out where like I have to like. Put it by my nightstand. Is that it weird? Happens. That's weird, yeah, man. But, happens, you know, we're yeah. weird dudes. Yeah. Uh, this face scan is an amazing feature, is it not? I think so, but we, what is it? Is it they use a face scan for the mold or just to paint? To paint. Over a mold. To paint. But this is a whole new head. Mm -hmm. So when they sculpted this head, like... The, With, I love how the hair is a separate. Yeah, the hair that really the hair helps yeah. a lot. This grayish tone is perfect. Yeah. I like how he's got dull... Except for shiny boots. Yep. They redid his hands because if you look at the hands on this one, and, and I'll give it back to you. Like, they're all, like, chubby and Chub fat. Yeah, chubby yeah, chunky. Too. Uh, just, honestly, the articulation's great. The sculpt is great. He poses well. Uh, I'm sick. Like, I think I understand that I have a personal attachment to it. Yeah. But I think there's no way that there can be a, a, a toy of the year above this. There's no way because I have a personal attachment to it. And I seriously, genuinely believe they did it right. Um, the hair is a little on the light side. I think that's good, though. They always get it too dark or too well, at gold. Least it's gold. Yeah, at least it's not gold. Gold was a bad guy, man. I, I'm what sorry. They were thinking. People will defend that gold hair on that figure, and it is indefensible. Sorry for you who defended the gold hair. It just doesn't. I don't understand. I understand what they were trying to do. It looked awful. Um, I'm sorry. I'll let you have it back. I, I love this figure. Um, I'm yeah, sick. Yeah. I'm going to... Yeah. Okay. I have this one. I have the package one. Yeah. And I like the package, but I expect they're going to come out with a single-carded one, right? They have to. It's a good figure. Like, yeah, I mean, okay. I don't see why not. I mean, but I think you're gonna see him first, cause I think that's fine. Which one do you think? Like, do you think more people want this or that? I'm gonna say Luke Jedi, and the reason why. 
name it. I'll tell you why. Because I've been finding, um, I've been compulsively looking for them on eBay. Yeah. And some people are selling them individually. You know, like they're breaking open the set. Yeah. And the Luke Jedi seems to be the most expensive one that's individualized. Okay. So that's that's, that's the shocking to me because like this is the one I would figure would be the Chase figure. Really? Is it because of the original Power of the Force two one? Maybe. I think yeah. it's because they did they did some nice Luke Stormtroopers over the year. Like, yeah, I guess that's true. How many of these exist? Of Luke Stormtroopers? Versions? Yeah. Um, I would say there's like, I, I, I'm just, on top of my head, yeah. four or five. All right. I mean, I can name the original Power of the Force 2 one, the original uh, one. And then there's this one that they came with, like, a pack that was, like, pre-posed, and I hated it, but it was, like, a, it was, like, a decent, it was, like, fighting the, it was in the Sarlacc pit, and the, or not Sarlacc, what is it called? The The dumpster? Okay, gun. yeah, well, but he's all beat up. Yeah, he's beat he's up. It's pre posed. There was one that came with a board game that was beat up. Um, and then they came out with a really nice legacy one, which was the white packaging. That looked pretty good. Um, that's definitely the best one. Uh, that's that, incredible, man. Yeah. I'm into this. I think out of all of them, that head looks the worst. But I think it's just might be the paint might be off. Because I think with the digital scans, it's like they have to be like perfectly aligned. Yeah. And uh, that one just looks a little off. But I'm not going to complain. Does this helmet go on? Yeah, give it a go, man. Dude, it's tight. I don't want to you can play with finger. that one. I don't want to scrape your finger. Can I tell you something? I've got three more on okay, the way. Fine. I'm sick, man. I, 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 I've been ordering them like left and right. And That's pretty badass. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And here's Han. Oh, so is, is he taller than Han? I can't tell. He you should got... be shorter, right? He... No, that's what I meant. Is Han, is Han taller? Take off the helmet. You can't You can't judge it with the helmet. I can't yeah, but tell. His shoulder should be at lower level. Oh. You gotta be kidding! Dude. Just take it off, man. What's the worst thing that's Blow gonna happen? Blow your toy up! Man. I'm, I'm okay with that. He looks a little bit taller. Who, huh? Yeah, he just... should be, but no, I know, but I just can't tell if it's me. Shouldn't Han have like? Shouldn't you be able to see black in between his shoulder plate or something like? Mm, I don't know about that. Because I thought that's how you tell it, like Luke shit. No, it's because Luke, Luke would have a lower a lower waist. This part should be shorter yeah, but, for him. Yeah, but I mean, clearly they didn't do that. But I heard they did. But Maybe you're right. You know, I can't back tell. To back. Yeah, back to back. Back to yeah. He's he's. I don't know, man. Let, let me get him straight. Yeah, get him straight. Straight. Oh. oh. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Back to back. Han looks like he's a little bit taller. Kiwi. Yeah. Not I, enough to like that. It makes a difference though. Enough where I can get behind it. This is sweet. Dude. I love These it. These are so sweet together, man. Yeah, they really are. That's awesome. I, I, I'm excited. Uh, th this is the great. This is the greatest. The, the Star Wars figures right now are at such a high point. Uh, I, I can't go on. A, I can't express how happy I am with the set. Uh, Luke X Wing is one of my favorite ones. Uh, my only thing boring. is that it's great. I don't no, like the X Wing outfit. Why? It's boring. How can it be boring? Because he's, he's got wires. You gotta put him in the X Wing. For it to be good. No, he's got wires hanging off. He's got like like uh, straps. He's got like, uh, you know, all this stuff. What? I, how boring. Boring. Ah, uh, we're not on the same page. No, I. The outfit is okay, but it's like like this guy, this Luke does things. He flies, so he needs to be in a cockpit. Okay, but he got out of the X wing, and he walked. And on. He got undressed and put that shit on. Good point. That's my good know. point. Uh, my only beef with this mm. figure, and it's not a beef, it's just a warning. Uh, this, what do you call it? His, uh, his, uh, um, harness. Harness, thank you. Mm -hmm. If, if, if it's not, if it's not in the right position, like if it's too far down and you spread uh -huh. his legs, it'll rip. Mm -hmm. So I, I gotta be careful with him. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a great figure. I mean, you can't go wrong with an, a good X-Wing body. Um, well, yeah, because you can use it in so many things, you I know? I mean, these heads look incredible, man. I mean, really just look so This great. is a sweet figure, but... Yeah, and he's got the good the good blaster. Get that. Um I I I am truly like What's his helmet look like? Oh yeah, it looks great. It looks great. Put it on. If it's good. This, oh. this Luke Jedi Knight, man. I mean I I got I gotta be honest with you, like I'm more excited about this than I, I think any figure They really have gotten good with they making really... the helmets look normal. Cause usually when you had a removable helmet it looked like a figure that with a helmet that yeah, was too big oh, yeah, and yeah. goopy. This or the head would be too small. Yeah, this looks incredible. Wow. Star Wars figures are the best they are. If they this, I honestly think that the current place of the vintage collection, 
in my opinion, because I'm a three and three fourth inch junkie, yeah. is the perfect, um, like the perfect construct construct for an action figure. Like I'd love to see th them tackle like Blade Runner figures in this size and scale and articulation and Dune figures. Like I wish that they could just universalize this structure. Sort of did in the eighties, and then they got away from it. You know, they, what like, do you mean? This format. No way, with this level of articulation. No, and but detail. I just mean this size. Oh yeah, this yeah, size. Yeah, this size was like ran the eighties. I'm saying, I think I'm trying to. You say, mean this, but this articulation, yeah. and this size for everything. You, not for everything, but like I, I'm for movie. I like movie toys. This scale, this size. I just think that they nailed it. I think everything looks so sweet. good. I just wish they had would have a Gavin base playset. That would be cool. Like, too bad. Like, man, I love like this Luke. That Luke is sweet. You need to do. You need to get enough of those, right, so, so you can make it look like you're taking a time lapse photography well, of him on that, where you catch him doing everything. And that's the thing is like the only thing but that you'd have this. To paint the, hand. The, the only thing that's the thing I was gonna say. If this figure would have come with um, a removable, an additional three gloves, three hands, hand. a glove one and a shot up one. Oh, that would be cool. Then it would be, yeah, then yeah. it would be the ultimate. Like, it would be like, that is the end-all be-all of Luke Jedi Knight. Um, with that said, I do I do wish they would have come with an additional gloved hand. I think that would have been cool, especially because the original Kenner yeah. one had it, even though in that scene in the movie, with all this gear, he wouldn't have had a glove. Um, I love this figure, and the question is, is I'm on the road of getting, my goal is 10. Okay, do you think they could pull off a removable, is that a tunic? Or a yes. robe underneath. Do you think they could pull it off removable? No, I don't agree with that. I think this is fine. No. This is a fine separate piece. Okay. I do not like. What if they did? I think that would have ruined this figure for me. That would be even too if they cloth. did it right. Yeah, I don't know how you would have done it. I don't like too much cloth. I think they got this cloth right on the cloak, but any more cloth would have been too much. It would have been too. I'm gonna say it too dolly for me, yeah. or, or it would just be too bulky. Um. What if it wasn't cloth? What would it be? Like a know. rubber? Maybe like a removable chest piece. Like remember the one how you could change it so we had the flip down? That was that a, was neurotic as that, that was awesome. So, that was I so, loved that. Did you? It, yeah, I thought that was sweet. It was a smart idea. Yeah. But that was super neurotic. That was crazy neurotic. But what if what if his chest piece wait, like was like it, the would just come came off. off. It was like a shell. Or I something. would say that's cool, but I gotta be honest with you. Like, I think this is a perfectly good last this, last yeah, dual figure. Too, so it's like, why? I don't know. So you could do like custom. Oh, like, honestly, I wonder what that one looks like with this hat. Yeah, let's try it. Oh man, I'm kind of scared. Oh, you're really gonna do that? Uh huh. Oh, you're crazy, dude. Wait, I, I'm gonna see because this is this is my only open one I currently have. Like, I got two mm. of them in the mail, and I got this one. I'm gonna keep sealed, and so like, I gotta be like. Okay, we're good. So these heads are different. Uh, I think the, this this old head is a, this is an older sculpt, and clearly oh. this is a new. Sculpt. I also thought his hair flew a little bit. It was it was a little bit more uh, feathered in the original in the beginning of Return of the Jedi. Feathered in the beginning oh, oops, of I Return of the Jedi. Uh. Yeah. I didn't like his do in Return of the Jedi. I'm going to agree with you. I think like, Empire Strikes it, Back. It just was a bad 80s, dude. It was. It was, it was early 80s, and it looked like an early 80s. It's like, it's like, it reminds me of like when I got pictures. Like it, like when my mom <laughs> made me get pictures. And she my brother your hair. hair. Yeah. She put a little mousse yeah, in it. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, yeah I know. But back when you could wear, like, right. wear, wear sweaters she, with your name on it. She made you, you part know? your hair a little bit. Yeah, something like that. It kind of actually looks like my son's hair, but uh, it doesn't hold on well, but no, it, it does look better. Hair. It does look better. But it doesn't Ooh, hold on. Yeah, wow. i got to be honest with you. Although he has no neck. He's got no he neck. Like, like, but if they could size that head, that would be a bit of an improvement. <sighs> and then, yeah, I mean, that's just a better But they head. got him super little here. Like, he is super little. I know, like, but... This, well, here, can I show you something on this, too? Um, he doesn't seem... Well, he's got the... He has the rope, so he seems a little bigger, but... Hold on. I gotta I got get it back. It's amazing how similar Anakin's outfit is in episode three. I think of that Luke's. was intentional. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll guarantee it's intent. Yeah. So I got the Death Star Gunner. Yeah. And it just, if you put him side by side, like Luke is little. Yeah. Oh, let me see this guy. Yeah, tell me something about that. What uh, do you want to know? Is it, know. It, it's packaged in a Rogue One packaging. Yeah. 
Is that exactly the same the same design as the one from A New Hope? Or yeah, because I know a lot of people thought that they like pulled the, the gunnering scene out of A New Hope for Rogue One. I don't think they did, but a lot of people thought they did. What? It's identical. I, I gotta be honest, I, I this is, again, really anal, but I wish they would have packaged it in A New Hope. It, I don't know why. I just I just think that, like... You probably get it. Is this a new figure? Yeah, it's brand new. Oh. It's brand new. What the hell, man? Uh, it's a little loose, isn't it? Yeah. I, I might buy another one, just assuming it's mine, but it's a great figure. I mean, the Death Star Gunner was probably the most attractive uh, Power of the Force figure. Yeah. Like, when you first, like, when they... Cause Why does he come with a Rebel Fleet Trooper gun? What else would he come with? I don't know. He never had a gun. Well, I gave him a gun. Oh, that's a... That's a rebel fleet trooper gun. This isn't a. This is a good guy gun. Really? Yup. Maybe mm -hmm. I screwed up. What do you mean? I'm trying to think if I accidentally put. No. Are you sure? Positive. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the. That's why the dudes in the beginning of A New Hope with the goofy bike helmets and stuff. Oh, is is it? It looks like a Bespin gun to me. Bespin gun. I mean, you would know a little better than me on that because you're pretty anal about that. Anal, I'm anal about roleplay props. Yeah, yeah. In your spaceships, you like my spaceship. I like my tech, man. My tech, I'm very. I appreciate that. Um, this is a cool outfit, though. It, like uh, a uniform great. outfit. Outfit, uniform. So <laughs> Whatever. Outfit. It's the outfit. Yeah, but this is like, like it, this is very like evil. Look, yeah, at him, you know, yeah. it's like that. You know, this is not a good guy. Like that could be like they could have made that look like, uh, like Vader's guards, exactly. or it could have yeah. been Vader. Put like a little I red mean, on him. Yeah, it's pretty evil. Do they? I, I wonder if they'll ever do. Were those McQuarrie figures good? Yes. Like, I were they them. made well? Yes, they came out at a good period of Star yeah, Wars. I want to get those. Are sweet. I actually have a few of them, and I've been uh, meaning to open them. It's just that like I get I go back and forth about like. With Star Wars collecting, is they're always coming out with something new, and I don't know if I want to go backwards or just go forward because they're always improving on these products. Yeah, but a lot of the stuff it doesn't matter. Like if you get a stormtrooper, you can have ones that don't necessarily match. Like you have the old one, the new one. I'm not an army movie. builder, man. Yeah, that's tough. I'm a collector. So you just like yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. So what do you do with that? Do I How have, do you, like... I have just been buying whatever has been released in the last, uh, that is, like, whatever's on Hasbro Pulse or whatever's coming yeah. out of the store, that's what I'm Current. buying. Current. And, uh, I'm not going backwards, but it sucks because there's some really good Ewoks that, that have come out, and yeah, I like the Ewoks. Well, what completes your collection, then? Like, how do you... Nothing. There's no way to complete it. So, you don't have a, a, a set goal? No. Of, like... It's weird. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm buying whatever's coming out now. Okay. And we Have you thought of a way to organize it? No. Maybe there is no goal, but at least to guide... Jabba's Palace. Yeah. But going backwards, I don't know if I want to buy the Jabba's Palace guys. Mm. It's, mm. It's, it's, it's a tough thing. To be honest with you... It's tough. This Luke Jedi was almost my goal. This is almost what it was leading up to, but... Uh, I don't know. Like I, I really do like these vintage collection figures. They're excellent. Yeah. They're, they're excellent. Um, this better come out on a card. And uh, if they if it comes out on a card at 12 bucks a piece, I'm, I, I'm going to be holding How many will you need on the card? Look, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to get like five or six. Vince, and it better be on a vintage card. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Like, definitely. If they put on a bad card, that would be terrible. I, I'm totally honest about my hoarding of Luke Jedi Knight. Like, I am hoarding them. All right, nothing wrong with um, that. I'm going to when I get enough of them, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a pocket one, just like I carry chapstick around. I'm gonna carry a mm -hmm. Luke Jedi Knight. I love this figure. I love it. And again, um, I think anyone who sees this in hand would appreciate it too. But again, like my level of love for Luke Jedi Knight, based on the movie and based on the original figure, is far beyond normal. Like it is, and it, it is a whole other level. Okay. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I'm I'm so happy. I I, I truly. I mean, am. you said that, like you you texted me and you were almost scared to tell me that you thought I wasn't gonna take you serious because you're like I think it's the best one. Like I, I these texts were like very emotional. They, I was very like, emotional. Like you. Were... This is uh this is seriously it, man. Like this is a big deal to me, man. I've been I've been waiting for like I don't know. I think since the 1990s, like. Power of the Force 2 line. I just wanted the perfect Luke Jedi Knight. And, like, 
I don't know that this is it, but I really think it is. And, and I'm hoping it is. And I'm scared to open it because, like, I know that once I open it, that's it. I hope. I hope I, I hope it is. I'm going to have, like, ten of these. That's sick, man. I'm, I'm a sick individual. Very happy. And you didn't want to admit how happy you were about it because I think you felt like maybe you were going to find something wrong with it or, like, ooh, maybe it's too good to be true or, like, it was going to, like, maybe it had, like, your NECA thing and you break it or something. You were waiting for the other boot to drop i was you I, were man i could I tell was. you're waiting for something bad to happen i was scared i was uh i was scared that i was gonna also as time went by I, I i thought i was going to realize that i was justifying things that i didn't like or like you know like kind of like a, attack of the clones when i saw it like i at first i liked it but i was really i really knew deep down inside that i had a lot of problems with it that's funny you i know? loved it you didn't love Attack of the Clones. I, compared to compared Compare. to episode one, I did. Compare, I was like, but, thank God, they, it something happened. But, and actually, nothing happened. But but have you ever wanted to like something so much that like you convinced yourself you liked it more than one. you did? Episode one. No, because you came out of that movie furious. I did, but that was like to you, to my brother, but like people at school that asked me about yeah, it. I was yeah. like. It's like, you know, it wasn't exactly what right, I expected. Right. I'm going to give another shot. Like, like, like yeah. I tried yeah. to get into it. Like, I defended it. I liked it when I came out of the movie I theater. didn't. I defended it to, to like, because, like, people were really excited for me when it came out. Yeah, you know? because, like, right, because it was, like. Yeah, they're we, like, you're getting another Star Wars movie. Right. And they weren't into it. Right, and they right. Asked, they were casual it. Star Wars fans. We were um, on another level. Yeah, yeah. And, and um. And now they're aging excellent, right? I mean, yeah, it's it, like them all now. I think everybody is starting to really love them. Yeah. And uh, I, I think George Lucas said in an interview, uh, or, or was uh, something was quoted, and, and I'm going to get the quote wrong, but he's like, make these movies for the kids because it's it's the kids who ultimately grow up and, and, and love them. I wasn't and, and a kid. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't like them right now. But you, yeah. I, I mean, I do. I, they They aged okay. I mean... They became their own thing, but yeah. with that with that said, like that's still not how I would have wanted the story told. I don't yeah, know. I I mean I had completely different expectations, and I knew where it was going, but I just imagined it mm -hmm. differently. And I mean, like, but the episode one trailer is the best trailer. Yeah, ever. oh, it's still the, it's still one of the most exciting trailers. Like, like I just remember watching that hundreds, yeah, and hundreds yeah. and hundreds of times, and oh my gosh. I can't put down this figure, man. Good. Good. Um, before we wrap it up, uh, we didn't mention in the San Diego Comic-Con episode uh, the black hole figures by DST, and I really wanted to because I'm pretty excited about those. We missed a few things. We did miss there. a few things, but I did want to bring out that because that really, uh, that really caught my attention. Oh. We're big fans of black hole. Um, also, uh, I guess there's some sort of convention going on right now in Japan, and they're showing some of those... Wonderfest. Most, yeah, Wonderfest. Yeah, yeah, Wonderfest is going on. And they're showing some of those Most Beata Sentinel stuff. Not impressed. Why? Well, I mean, okay, fine. The, that you're the, not impressed about the 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 Rook Bartley. No, that's cool. Yeah. I think that looks cool. What, but what was the, the Alpha? It just looks like it looks like every. I don't yeah, know, but I think I, exactly I, I think, like the yeah, the Aoshima. Right. But that, but I think you just need that in hand. I think for that. I mean, yeah, I'll get it. There's not a question that I'll probably love it when I get it. But I just hope it doesn't fall apart, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you. Um... I agree with you. Uh, also, uh, I am on episode three of The Boys on uh, yeah. Amazon Prime. Do you like it? I do like it. Is it brutal? It's brutal. Because the comic book's brutal. That's what I heard. I heard yeah. the comic book is really, really brutal. Yep. But it's brutal, but like it's not un it's not like uh, unwatchable. I, I like it. And is it NC-17 or R? R. Okay, because the, yeah. the, the book is the book like I heard is just disgusting. Like... Um, it makes me realize that Carl Urban is uh, one of the is, is a he's national awesome. treasure. Yes, he's awesome. Uh, I don't understand why he doesn't like. I think he's a character actor, but I think he's one of the best. Carl Urban. Uh, I don't think he gives a shit. I don't think he which gives is a shit so either. awesome about him. That's my favorite thing about him. He'd rather just hang out with his kids. I, I really? Is, yeah, I, I I know we like, dude. I mean, he, I don't know him. I, I think I like him in everything he's done. Uh, yeah, Riddick. I liked him in Dread. I yep. like him in Star Trek. I liked him in. Uh, he had but some... think about that. He was Bones in Judge Dread. Yeah. 
within in the same that's, year. He's, I mean, he's totally, that guy can act his ass off. He's great, and he was badass in Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, I always forget about I that. Faramir? No, and not Faramir. What's his name? Uh, he's awesome. His, in his it. name is Carl Urban. You're mixing like. Carl's probably a square name, eh? and then Urban is like Urban. It'd be Carl Badass. Carl man. Urban, that is pretty much Big it. Badass. Um, uh, also, uh, I love Dune. I got a Dune board game. Uh, how do you relive the legend and fulfill the prophecy? I'll bet with it's Dune? boring. I bet you this is so boring. I'll bet that is a boring game. I'll buy anything Dune. Why not? Uh, mm. They just wrapped filming on the new Dune, which is crazy. Yep. Uh, that is, again, we talked about it. I, I think I've never been more excited for a movie, and I think it's going to flop disastrously. Which is beautiful that, that they're at. They, I love that somebody is letting good shit get pushed through, and they don't care. They're just they're pushing through good yeah. movies that they know are going to age well. Well, they're letting Denis Vell Villeneuve uh, do what he wants. And, and I, I do think that he is the... Uh, the greatest modern film director, and when I say that, I mean like modern, like like in the last decade, like newer. I movies. I would agree. I think twenty forty nine was the best sci fi movie of the decade. I agree, and it's slowly becoming one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, Do you like it more than the original Blade Runner? I, I think I think I'm there. I, I at least, it's hard. That's it's hard equal one. for me. Like I can't watch one without the other. But it's weird. I've been watching 2049 and then I have to go back and watch Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. It's weird because it makes you look at it totally different. You know? It's a different movie. What, yeah. What's strange is 2049 is a long, slow movie. Yeah. And anytime it's on my TV, I and always keep it on. I don't think it's that slow, though. It's just... Mm. It's, it's, it's pacing quiet. is slow. It's quiet. But I think once it, like once you're an hour into it, it's... It, yeah. Well, I like... I like that there's so many different segments of that movie. So yeah. like I can come in at any point. I'm like, oh, I love this part. I love this part. Like visually, it's just like all over. Um, I'm waiting for a conclusion. I think that they should come out with a war movie. Yeah. Because I mean, they sort of set that up. Or a comic book. Oh, uh, well, they have the something. comic book. I just started. Remember we talked about it. Yeah, that's 2019. 2019. That's a that's a prequel. You're mm -hmm. right. You're right. Uh, in, in with Blade Runner, um, R.I.P. Rucker Howard. Uh, or can you believe is, that. Is, is that is sad? But to be mm -hmm. honest with you, like you know. Um, he really hasn't done anything. I mean, not saying to be honest with you, that sounds so heartless. Mm -hmm. But uh, he hasn't been doing anything in a while, so it's uh, it's it, it is sad though. He I was... loved Hobo with the Shotgun. I didn't love that movie. I I'd like to watch it. Loved again. it. He he was in Batman. He did a lot of stuff. He was supporting. Oh him yeah. in a lot of stuff. Yeah, wasn't he in uh, one of the Star Trek movies, or was that? Uh, I always get him mixed Girl. up with Rucker Hauer, and uh, and I always get him mixed mm. up with. Uh, Oh, what's what was his name? He was uh, he was in the first Star Trek movie. Uh, damn it, what's the his name? First Star Trek R movie. Rucker Hauer and uh, who was he? He was he's he's a famous actor. I always get him mixed up with him. Uh, God, I can't think of it. And I don't think I'm gonna come up mm. with that. I'll have to like research it, but. He's like he's like a British actor. Sort of looks like him. Sort of plays the same. I don't know. I can't looks think. Looks like Rutger. No, maybe he doesn't. Uh, who was in Star Trek? Uh, do you have your phone? Who was in which Star Trek? The the generations. He, he was writing Malcolm them. McDowell. Malcolm McDowell. That's yeah. it. Why do I always get them mixed up? Is that? I don't know. Does that man. make sense? No. No. Okay. Malcolm McDowell's like a little like I. I don't know. I guess you could get him. For whatever reason, okay, I get those yeah, two mixed hey, up. Yeah, it happens. So with that said, uh, this Luke Jedi Knight does. Um, meet all my expectations i i do i absolutely love this i think the other figures in the set are excellent as well i've been focusing on the luke jedi because i'm it's a luke, luke jedi, jedi. Yeah, yeah. i was emotional about it i was mm -hmm. truly like emotional and when you're emotional about an action figure or a toy or anything uh that i don't know i mean I, that, i'm opening my myself up for criticism but uh i don't oh, care so. i am a bit dramatic but well i mean i mean because it's weird because i mean uh, it's a piece of plastic. It's it's like it's it's like an it's like an idol. It's it's it's. But I mean, I don't care. Like that's what this is. I get excited about books that were printed forty years. Yeah, ago. it's great. It's it great. Happens, it's great. It's great. It's all good. Yeah. Does this go it. in here or is this just for? It does go in display. there. It okay. does go in there. It's tight. Yeah. Uh, Hasbro, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I really do think they're doing a phenomenal job. Um, I don't really have anything else. I'm so tied into this Luke Jedi Knight. It's it's taken so much out of me. You got anything else? 
This thing's sweet. This is man. a great set. Hopefully you can get them. Uh, uh, they're on eBay for a little below the prices. I believe Hasbro Pulse is going to sell them on their site for fifty-four dollars, which fifty-four dollars uh, is 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 a reasonable price. It's still a slight increase from the twelve-dollar retail, but that's I think it's okay. Um, twelve dollar again, retail. yeah, again, oh, thank thirty-six. Wow. That's all right. That is shitty. Dude, as soon as these start really <laughs> popping up on eBay, <laughs> yeah. like when someone breaks them apart at 20 bucks a piece, yeah. I'm going to order so many of them. It's going to be That's sick. Awesome. It's sick. It's sick. That's the last one. Oh, well. Until next time. Nerd out! I hope I expressed my obsession with this Luke enough. I think you got you do? that through very clear. I am a bit dramatic, but...